Hi friends, my name is Aksa and I am here with another video about medical solutions. Uh, this video uh, is about the numerical problems of the third chapter probability and statistics of the book uh, Statistical Mechanics. Uh, this is the first question. What is the probability of getting either a 7 or a 6 when throwing two dice? Uh, before getting into the solution, at first I made the sample space uh, for all the possibilities and the number of sample space is 36. After that, I separate out all the sample spaces uh, which is showing uh, the output 6. And, the, and this time the number of the specific output 6 is uh, 5. And the probability of getting uh, 6 is <coughs> 5 over 36. And 5 is the probability of only getting 6 and 36 is the probability of all the sample spaces. And after that I uh, separate out all the sample spaces uh, which uh, gave us the output 7 and this time the number of space uh, for 7 output is 6. So the probability would be 6, uh, 6 over 36. Uh, uh, the probability now this time is 6 over 36 uh, but this uh, step you have to do when the events are mutually exclusive uh, mutually exclusive are those events which uh, um, cannot be possible at the same time for example uh, in this case when you throw a dice either you will get 6 or 7 you cannot get a 6 or 7 at the same time both these events at the same time are impossible that's why these uh, events are mutually exclusive so uh, to find the probability of mutually exclusive uh, events you have to add them uh, uh, their separate pro uh, probabilities as i did in this case i add the probability of getting six and getting seven uh, to find the uh, actual probability of these events and which be, uh, is equal to five over 36 plus six over 36 and by taking the LCM and adding them, it is 11 over 36. This is the probability of actually getting 6 or 7 when you throw 2 dice. I hope it makes sense to you. Uh, this is the second question of the chapter number 3. If the probability of hitting a target is 0 0.1 and 10 shots are fired independently, what is the probability that the target will be hit at least once? Uh, I did this question in an opposite way. Uh, because uh, we have to find the probability of just one uh, shot which actually hit so I subtracted the probability of rest of nine shots which didn't hit <coughs> so at first I find the probability of not hitting as the probability of a hitting shot is given which is 0 0.1 or you may say that 1 over 10 uh, the total probability for every event is uh, 1 uh, so I subtracted uh, the heating probability to get the not heating probability and after that <coughs> I subtracted all the uh, not heating nine probabilities from the actual heating one probability so to get the answer uh, if it uh, makes sense to you then let me know in the comment section uh, the question number third is that what is the probability of first drawing the ace of spades and then drawing any of three remaining aces from a 52 card pack? Uh, number of sample space as we know that in a, uh, in a set of cards is 52. So I wrote it. Uh, probability of drawing first ace card uh, would be 1 over 52. And uh, after that, uh, when you uh, draw any ace card from the remaining three, then the probability for those three would be 3 over 51. Now, the uh, why here is 51 rather than 52? Because we already draw an ace from the set of 52 cards. Now, we have to draw three cards from the remaining three, sorry, from the remaining 51 cards. As we already written here uh, for, the, uh, for your hint, total probability would be p1 multiplied by p2 now why i i'm multiplying them because both the events are independent but are not mutually exclusive uh, independent is that because in this way uh, events are independent in this way because at first i draw a first uh, ace of spade and then i draw ace of spade from the 
remaining three of uh, ace of spades so the both events are not dependent and also not mutually exclusive so i multiplied them to get the answer question number 4 is that if six different colored inks are available in how many ways we can select three colors for a printing job at first before deciding that we have to find the permutation or the combination of the given uh, question uh, let me tell you one thing that they didn't give us any hint to arrange the colors name the order is not important uh, in which way we arrange them or all acceptable not any specific uh, order to arrange them is given uh, so we will go with the combination um, as the total colors are 6 and we have to choose three of them so uh, the value of n is 6 and the value of r is 3 by using the uh, combination formula i get the probability uh, sorry i get the number of ways uh, with which you can arrange uh, three colors from six of them without any um uh, without bothering any uh, specific combination of colors question number 5 for example how many ways one can choose five objects out of 12 mean the value of the r would be 3 sorry would be 5 and the uh, value of n would be 12 because the total objects are 12 uh, if either the order of the choice is important uh, and the next case would be not important as uh let at let at first find the ways when the order is important in this case as they told us the order is important so we will go towards the permutation and in permutation uh, by applying its formula i get the probability when the order uh, sorry i get the number of ways when the order is important and now let's move towards the second uh, uh second um, second part of the question where the order is not important as i earlier told that when the order is not uh, uh, important to arrange the things then we have to go with the uh, combination by applying its formula i get uh, the number of ways when the order is not important i hope these questions will make sense to you if yes then let me know in the comment section you can get all the pictures from my facebook group uh, with the name uh, with the same name as of my channel and uh, i will also drop the link in description box so thank you allah hafiz